good mo- No. No, not good. Not good at all. I will not wish you good morning, Arbitrary, for it is not a good morning. Well, it could be. Good and bad are merely constructs we have told ourselves exist firmly, yet so often it is proved wrong to us. We have been programmed that way and cannot easily undo nor unsee it. But today I feel confident that regardless of your philosophical alignment towards the meadly human concept of good and bad, it is a very bad morning. Bad in the concept of things which involve death and pain, for these were brought to us swiftly. Issa, today, for the broadcast, as you can probably tell, pain was brought to us with the Nebugasa. Death was with it. Today marks the beginning of our morning this morning. For those of you whose constitution of mind was weak and may not have remained conscious for the rampage I can only imagine is from some weak, sick, dying, and long forgotten demigod, I envy your luck. I envy your minimal witness of this horror, this tragedy. I am disgusted by your innocence to the events that happened, but I wish I could forget. The Nebugasa destroyed most of the city and many who lived in it. We cast away our blessed objects out of newfound fear of that raging storm. We threw them to the streets, hoping it would sate that beast. No amount of humor our main presenter attempted to distract us with could make us forget that threat looming close overhead. At least he tried. I don't think we'll forget soon, either. At least not with that mandated amnestic. Still the rain is pounding outside, and with the shudder of its droplets against the station, both my mind and body shake with it. But I digress. We rejected our blessed things, which grew its hunger until the crisis swept in so suddenly that every room of most secret hiding began to fill with the fog of that thing. Its fumes burned. It reeked of sulfur. It tasted like rotting vomit. It made visions in our heads of vile things that we hated and we quickly hated it in return. Oh, arbitrary, we hated it. And then we cursed it. Together, we cursed it. Together, we found courage enough to cease fearing that hungry void and hate it with such passion we together cursed it. We cursed it with our blood running over the onyx stones of our circles, and we hated the Nebugasa with such fury, with such madness, that it feared us. We became unholy. We became unholy indeed. Our curses manifested swiftly. The chanting could be heard above the riots of thunder from the heavens behind it. It shrieked, my gods of old darkness, it shrieked. What cost is our victory? Turquoise is safe. His hatred of that gross creature made him new for a moment in unblessedness previously unknown to save his life. The station is damaged, but still runs. Public safety is manning the damage control. For those that did not survive, we mourn. The sanitation department is beginning cleanup. I can see them ripping apart and devouring the bodies in the street from where I'm sitting. <sighs> Health services was leveled, but most of our medical staff has survived. Without proper equipment, though, I'm afraid we will lose many more of our citizens, either from injury, due to destruction, or excessive inhalation of that creature's poison. I am broadcasting today because in the haste of leaving the station, Eli was wounded. Not badly. He will recover. 
but in the meantime, as the rain washes away some of our tears and most of the blood, I am obligated to tell you, despite the fact that it is stating the obvious, all events are postponed until the restoration is complete. The Contractors Guild is making plans to restore the city. They get a lot of practice. This isn't the first time we've had catastrophic events destroy most of this small and insignificant idea of civilization we call home. Council is here, as always. City Hall is untouched. They are the unholiest of us all. They are relishing in the madness and despair plaguing us. They are cruel, but they keep us safe from the light of normalcy. The dark heavens know how that would kill us. The Council and their terrifying multi-body are not the only ones who seem to want to keep our madness to themselves. The SDA is having a hard time processing and containing all the emotions the city is expressing, yet our mourning cannot be stopped. How could it be? We've lost mothers. We've lost fathers. We've lost sisters, brothers, step-siblings, half-siblings, children, aunts, uncles, and cousins of varying levels of importance to us. We have lost friends. We have lost colleagues. Lovers, secret admirers, and those we admired secretly. Today is a day where the mandatory facade of emptiness cracks. Today is a day where we dare attempt to question the nature of things in the arbitrary which is strictly against the law. The vigilantes have taken some for these thoughts already despite the so recently wreaked death. Don't forget about the chips that monitor your thoughts. They've been there so long. No, Arbitrary, attempt to forget. Forget what you have, or have not felt, or seen, or haven't seen, or heard, or haven't heard. The vigilantes don't care if disaster has struck. They only know the law. It may be difficult, Arbitrary, but if there's a bar still working, then drink, if of legal age. Do what you must within our laws, as difficult as it may be. Life goes on. It doesn't care. We shouldn't, as much as possible. It doesn't do any good. Our insignificance should be realized. Our city will function normally soon. It will be as if nothing happened. Wisdom is remembering that when you feel your facades cracking in the face of peril or fear. It is a burden we must bear in arbitrary. Our place in existence is between known and unknown. What is our purpose here? Who knows? Who fucking cares? The predictor probably knows, but their words are only for counsel to hear. I must take my leave soon. Whoever is left of us that can still work is needed for the restoration. Public safety and counsel advise not to pray. We have defeated the Nebugasa, but for how long, it is not certain. Do your best not to dwell on this too much. In the meantime, keep your onyx circles should it come back. New ones will be sent to you shortly. Where they come from, I do not know, nor will I ask. I fear I may have broken the laws regarding my emptiness and questioning the council in thought. I do not hear the vigilantes, though. That is good. Perhaps I haven't. I must forget. I must. It would be foolish not to. Goodbye, Arbitrary. Until we meet again, hopefully with minds mostly intact. Issa, signing off. <laughs>